Hey, how's it going guys? Got another product review for you. What you're looking at here is the Patagonia Down Sweater. Um, just have it packed away. It packs away inside of its own inner compartment. So in case you want to stow it away inside of your bag, it compresses really tight. Actually, this isn't actually even how big it can be. You can even press, compress it even more and squeeze it inside of your bag. Um, so that way, even if you're in a hot environment, uh, say you're hiking or camping and you want a medium layer or outer layer to pull out, this will always be handy. Doesn't take up a lot of room, super lightweight, and as you can see here, there is a loop sewn in on the outside so you can hang it off a carabiner on the outside of your bag. I personally would pack it inside just because I don't like things dangling on the outside, but uh, the option is there if uh, you're okay with that. Uh, let me check up the weight. Apologies uh, for going back and forth between my laptop. It weighs 349 grams, which is 12.3 ounces, so super lightweight. And let me just open this guy up just to give you an idea of what this looks like when it's fully unfurled. So I'll just pull this out. Oh, and by the way, thanks to Young's Backpacking for hosting this review. Uh, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have this piece of gear to show you guys. So if you're ever in Northern California, especially in the Berkeley area, stop by and check them out. They have a lot of cool stuff. So they just got this in. So as you can see, this becomes the inner pocket of the sweater. It's actually a little more like a jacket. And as you can see, it is full zip. And this is the inside pocket. I love having inside pockets because it's just not blatantly on the outside and you can put things like your wallet without having it like kind of bulky on the outside. Soft, really slick sheer lining on the outside. You see here there are two side pockets on either side that are also zip up so you can use these to stow items securely. The arms have elastic closures and the waist has a drawstring closure. Um, I would have preferred just an elastic, sort of like the sleeves, just because I don't like drawstring, but this is fine, some people don't care either way. Um, I actually, when it comes to styling, I prefer where the sleeve comes down plainly, but if I know I'm gonna be in a wet or windy environment, I do prefer the drawstring just because this will wrap it around your arm and keep uh, wind chill from going inside of uh, and striking your skin. The outer lining is made of a super light water resistant um, nylon. Uh, let's see, the shell is 1.4 ounce, 22 denier, 100% all recycled polyester mini ripstop nylon with a DWR finish. And DWR is durable water repellent finish. So that's a mouthful, but basically it's a synthetic outer coating and the finish makes sure that if you get water on moisture on this thing, it's going to bead instead of soak on top. This will work well on light to medium amounts of moisture. If you're gonna be on a heavy rain pour, it will eventually soak in. So if you're gonna go in some place with heavy rain, I would recommend uh, an outer coating on top of this, like say a Gore-Tex. But as a mid layer or an outer layer in lighter environments, this works excellent. Uh, the inner filling though is, let's see if I can find it, 800 fill power goose down. Now I'm more of a synthetic fan just for the fact that with a synthetic say polyester you can just throw it in a washing machine but uh, when it comes to ounce for ounce if you're comparing them for the same amount of weight nothing is going to compress more tightly and nothing's going to be more warm than goose down. It just is. Uh, for one ounce of goose down versus one ounce of polyester, the down will compress more tightly and the down is going to be warmer. So it's a little bit more care. Uh, you're, if you want to clean this, you're going to probably have to uh, dry clean it. But for performance wise, this is going to be polyester any day. So if that's what you guys are looking for, you might want to go with the down jacket as well. Let's see here. Uh, as you can see here, just give you a idea of how the drawstring closure around the waist works. It's not a dangling cord. They did a really good design here on the side. You got the drawstring and then it hooks on itself on this hook on the inside so you're not going to have any dangling cords. A lot of other brands will have the cord dangling on the outside and it can be a pain but Patagonia is pretty good with their designs. comes in a variety of colors. Uh, this is a bright red. Uh, when I go hiking, I actually prefer brighter colors just because it'll stand out more for safety reasons, especially if I'm in an alpine environment. Uh, if I break my leg, if I fall, this is going to stand out, especially um, I travel a lot. So if my gear gets mixed up with other people's, this is going to stand out. It's going to be easy for me to grab. Uh, this is a pretty new item. It retails for about $170, and that's probably the only hit I'm going to give this item is the price. Patagonia items just are expensive. Um, you can't get around that. However, 
for what you pay for and what you get, um, they are quality. I haven't had anybody who's bought a Patagonia product and been disappointed with it. Uh, this is one of those pieces of gear that you're going to be wearing every day, especially in a colder environment, and you're not going to regret that money that's spent because it is a quality build. The design is excellent, and uh, their customer service is actually excellent. Also, um, this is uh, the shell is 100% recycled. Uh, Patagonia's got this really good design philosophy about trying to be as eco-friendly as possible and uh, you might want to read up on their website and learn more about them. So that's my little brief mention of the Patagonia down sweater. If you're looking for something that's super lightweight, easily compactable and uh, is very warm and you can have it with you wherever you go, you might want to give this a shot. So thanks for watching guys and have a good day.